Hello everyone and welcome back to Of Bricks and Dragons. Today we have Figure Friday and as you can see we have the Dark Trooper. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Dark Trooper. We're going to open them up. Uh, I have two different types of Dark Troopers here. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see here. I got things on my phone as I'm trying to get the history. Okay. So um, where do we get the Dark Trooper from? Now, originally the Dark Trooper was from, uh, dun, 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 dun. all right, Dark Troopers were, this is from the Wikipedia, so I mean, you could look this up. Uh, I do remember that there were three different types of Dark, fa or phases of Dark Troopers. So uh, that's why I kind of looked this up so I could see where, you know, things have changed over the years. Um, originally, from my recollection of the Dark Trooper was, the first phase, it was more of a suit of armor, which I'm going to kind of read here. The second phase was kind of a little bit of a more augmentation there. And the first two phases only had hand-to-hand um, -hand weapons. And it was in the phase three that they actually got the long range. Now that's from my recollection of it. Um, we're going to kind of read through a little bit of this. We will look at it uh, in the background. It's actually I took two sets from uh, the Mandalorian where we got to see Luke Skywalker being his true self. Uh, my youngest daughter put Yoda up there. Uh, and of course we have a bunch of the Dark Troopers, which um, I think for a lot of people, that's probably where you, you may have seen the Dark Trooper first come in. Um, it was in one of the earlier video games. Um, and it was really just a person in a suit of armor. So, um, you know, if we want to go by that, that storyline, it was a person in a suit of armor. Then later on, it was kind of doing other things. And I'll kind of elaborate here at the end after I get done reading through this. Then we're going to get these guys opened up and we're going to see how awesome they look. And we're going to go from here. Um, so uh, we have, uh, they're created by the Galactic Empire's Dark Trooper program. Uh, the models were bodysuits worn by human pilots. Um, never, nevertheless, the Dark Troopers resembled the DT series sentry droids used by the Empire. Um, trying to hold this up so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. Okay, then the Phase 2 Dark Troopers were deployed for evaluation by the Imperial military during the Galactic Civil War and were utilized in the Battle of Tatooine. Uh, by the time the third generation Dark Trooper used by uh, Moff Gideon's Imperial Remnant by the year 9 ABY, it was decided the human pilot was the last weakness in the Dark Trooper design, transforming the third generation unit into battle droids um you know there's more going on beyond that talking you know taking the line from the mandalorian now uh like i said i do remember it having three phases set my phone down here and this is where your own head cannon is going to have to kind of come in as we look at these guys um the original one and some of this is kind of coming from what they're doing with um for what I'm adding in here, um, the first the first two, like I said, originally, if I remember them correctly, were only hand to hand combat. Um, we had people that had chips in them, and we're trying to get the human out of it so we could have a better soldier. Okay, the third one, it was a full droid, which was what I think we're going to look at here. If you want to say that these are guys, or however you want to work it out. Either way, I think we have some pretty good-looking figures here. We're going to open them up. But going in, the first one, uh, for if, if you're watching the animated series of The Bad Batch, I think what you're going to find, from my wild guess here, uh, and I'm thinking I might be right, but we'll have to see where Filoni goes on this. They were taking the, the old clones... And they were putting them into the suits. And they had a high, high loss rate due to the fact that the clones themselves were having a mental issue with becoming a cyborg. 
and in their mind becoming the droids that they fought against. Now I think that's where they're going with this. And then when you get to the actual phase three, they just completely did away with having a human or a clone in there and they went just complete droid anyways and then there we are. Now with them trying to work out the bugs, they gave them hand-to-hand -hand weapons to make sure that they couldn't uh, do too much damage. Okay, That is where my head cannon goes on this. Um, having a suit of armor and having them in a suit of armor that would maybe augment their um, physical attributes. You know, give them a little bit better strength and, and all that. Armor them up a little extra. Um, that might work. Maybe trying to give them a different chip so that way hopefully they would be better better soldiers. Um, and then essentially I would say in the second phase if you've ever seen Ghosts in a Shell where they can literally take your brain out of the body they can put it into a, a case and then install it into a droid or a uh, cybernetic body or something. Something along that line, maybe, you know, kind of like a Robocop or a something, okay? That's my thought for the second one. And there again, if you see the original second Robocop movie, they tried to duplicate that very same project, and they had a huge turnover because people just could not fathom being turned into a droid. And it's very difficult. To lose your humanity is very difficult. And I think that's the same issue that they ran into with Phase 1, Phase 2. And Phase 3 is complete droid. And then we're back to using droids. Okay. So, um, I was hoping to get two of each. Uh, I could only get the one of the newer one. Uh, but I did get uh, two of these. Um, so, if you're seeing that in, in traditional... Imperial uh, uh, way of doing things, uh, and we saw it in the Clone Wars and all that. You had different troopers with different types of armor and all that stuff on here. Um, really, that way they could they could blend into different situations. Uh, you know, you just recolor their armor or whatever. I'm thinking that that, that in my own little way is how I'm kind of looking at this. Uh, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. But here we go. We're going to get get her all opened up. We're going to see how they look. Um, and I do have my battle droid sitting here as I still have my big big mess, which I think is going to be here for a while. Um, I do have a bunch of other figures as we're going to kind of keep going back and forth. I think if I can for all of May, because we have, you know, May the 4th, I think we're going to do just nothing but... Star Wars figures for all of me. And then we lost our coin. There we are. Okay. So that's kind of my thought here. Um, so if I'm doing that, I might center more on doing some other figures in between until we get to May. But, uh, you know, these guys are sitting here and they are cool as all get out for looking at. So let's get them opened up and let's see what we all have. So this looks like a nice heavy heavy blaster here. Uh, something that a mechanical arm could easily handle. As we hear, hear all the crunchity crunches. Okay, let's see if we can't get this. Oops. Gotta hold the knife right so I don't get my finger. So that's not gonna feel too good if I get my finger here. Alright, I got a second one there too. All right, so we have some blaster effects. Actually, those are for the feet, if I'm correct, because um, you kind of see it in the picture a little bit. I'm in the process of looking at a couple other figures. I'd like to get a Grogu, so um, I'm hoping to maybe get a Grogu sometime soon. We will see about... Uh, how I do on that okay so looking at the helmet um, <laughs> oddly enough uh, yeah it, it 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 does have a very the whole body style is it, it is chunky and it is extra armor this very well could be more of a type 1 
style because this looks and feels more like it's armor. Actually, this would be more of a Type 2, I would say, in a way. Um, I don't know. It's all for your own interpretation how you would want to do that because the joints here remind me of 3PO. These leg joints remind me very much like 3PO. And, of course, we did have Mr. Anthony Daniels in there. Uh, he was very stiff walking, although he was trying to be stiff because he was trying to be more like a metalized butler. Um, but this feels, this moves up and down a little bit, like it's just a, a piece of armor on here. But we do have extra motors in that here. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, you know, the hardest thing is because I have a computer screen behind me, so I can't see what I'm doing outside of just seeing here. Um... As we look in here, you see little hydraulic motors here to kind of move up, down, you know, as, as you're kind of bending or whatever. So um, this would have to, at the very earliest, be a phase two. Just trying to see how the, I mean, we can see where that could possibly be part of a leg, but if you're doing all robotics in here, that's all going to be robotic anyways. Um, maybe have a regular human brain in here. An augmented human brain, I would say. Um, the joints move really nice. Normally when I get them brand new like this out of the box, uh, it's very difficult to move. Uh, they've been moving very nicely. Uh, the quality is very nice on this in, in comparison to some of the other newer ones I've been getting where everything is so stiff. Uh, of course, I've always been saying, you know, when you get it brand new, you don't want it to be too loose. So I do understand those regards. Uh, but this seems like a very nice balance in here. And, of course, we have a nice rifle here. To me, this almost looks like a battle shot, a shotgun laser type deal. But it does have a magazine off the side, so like a power pack. Because this is Star Wars, so it's they're shooting blaster bolts of some sort um, looks pretty good and then we can twist around yeah that looks really nice okay and we do have some different hands that we can swap out so if we want to we could take those off and we can give them a fist and then uh, I don't know how well you can see in the box but they do show these like they're flying so if you look in the back you see them where they're kind of flying here uh, taking off so easily we could I don't know how well I can tilt that head back but yeah there he is flying out there um, yeah it works pretty good I really like this Okay, so we got one out. I'll take the other one out in a little while. Uh, we'll do that off camera for some other time um, so I can have them up there. So we have this one. He's definitely a Phase 2, but seeing that this would be from the Mandalorian, I would say that that's going to be a Phase 3. Put it in front of my lightsaber here. This is actually a flashlight. I got this many years ago already. You know, it amazes me because I'm getting older and older that... Uh, I think if, I feel like I just got this like last year, two years ago, and suddenly I realize this is from say like four or five years ago. But yeah, and it's a little flashlight. It's got four LEDs, makes a nice sound to it. But all the silliness. I keep thinking someday I'll grow up, but uh, I probably won't. And I think my wife has resigned to the fact that I probably won't. All right, get this little bugger all opened up here and we'll see how this one looks and how they compare and of course we have a nice now this is a rebel alliance coin so uh, and all the wording is, in, is done in imperial so if you can read Imperial or you can translate it, there you go. 
I know that there's translations online and that you can find it. Um, and we'll see how this one is. Now he looks like he's got the same type of rifle here, so um, open her up, see how it is. Honestly, this looks like it's the same mold. See if I can get him out of here with, without making too much noise. Come on there, guy. There we go. Now we got him. We'll get his hands out of here. Hands are done the same way. I'm thinking it's the exact same mold, just a recolor. Everything's just a recolor of it. Looks good, though. We'll see if he uh, moves the same way. Plastic to line up a little bit better. Okay. So yeah, uh, so now we have some different coloration in here. This one looks like it would have just come off the factory floor, maybe be a new model. Uh, as of yet, not to see any combat. The joints move really nice. They do. Actually, the wrist moves a little easier than it did on, on the other one. But, no, this is having a little issue here. Okay, that's a little stiffer. It's not a big deal. Um, the head seems like it's moving a little easier going back, but it still only goes back so far. Um, this is still the same type of chest armor piece that we have. Hopefully I'm not knocking the camera. Okay. The knees are a little stiffer. The ankles are the same. But he looks very nice and clean. Um... So between the two of them, I would say once I get the gun on here, I would say between the two of them, so if you're looking at just between the Mandalorian itself, this would be one that would be on an Imperial cruiser, and this one would be one that would would have been sent down for doing actual grunt work. So maybe a Navy and an Army version. So that's a big possibility. Kind of hard to say. Um, but yeah, this is all done the same. Just a little different colorization. Of course, the hands are here. So, looks good. And of course, for the most part, they're gonna they're gonna just sit on a shelf or in a box or whatever. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Little pouches here for like different uh, energy magazine clips, magazines, clips, whatever you want to call them. Some people like to call them magazines, some people like to call them clips. Um, let's see, because I twisted the other one. Now this one's a little stiffer for twisting. So if you want to twist that a little bit more, you can. It's still there, it's just a little bit more... Like he's got his foot off to the side, like he's just about to move his, move his body around. So, yeah, looks very nice. A little extra detail there. Um, I think this one snaps a little bit more, being more like a showpiece, having the, the grays or silverish pieces in here. Uh, in comparison to this one, this one looks like it's one that's actually out there getting used and abused. Um, but there again, if, if you have one that's more a more see a marine or an army version where they're out there in the mud and getting used and abused compared to one that's um, serving on a ship and is not getting all the mud and muck, um, that would be a little difference there. Because uh, I think they also had these 
No, maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to think in the first season. I think it was just stormtroopers that he had when they were going through on the uh, the lava river um, in the boat. I don't think he had any of these. Um, so it's been a while since I've watched it. I know it's you know time flies when we're having fun. I just wish everyone would let me know when I'm having fun, um, which I think I am now. Uh, that's not a problem. But uh, yeah, so we have our, our Phase 3 Dark Troopers. Um, and you have to figure out in your own head cannon and, and, and that how you want to do, do Dark Troopers. If you're going to do just, they're just the droids or, you know, um, I know there's more episodes for me to watch for the, the Bad Batch. Um, kind of falling behind on some of this stuff. Uh, but uh, I think what we're going to find out is we're going to find out that they're using some of the old clones and they're put, trying to put them into the Dark Troopers Phase 1 and then uh, maybe into Phase 2. Um, and we're going to go from there. I think it's going to be them being slightly augmented and then they're going to just have a rough time. Maybe it's because they're being aged a little faster. Um, that's a possibility. I know that that's kind of been brought up with the Clone Wars or the, the Clone Troopers uh, with them being aged as fast as they had. A lot of them had a hard time because that's that system that they used to age them to, to grow them faster. Essentially you have an adult in I think originally it was like in 10 years um, and I think they had shortened it so that might be play something else in there. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on, on how they do the story going from this point on. But uh, I think it's I think it's interesting. I think we have some pretty good figures here though. Um, I think that they look pretty good. I don't know why you would have the red on the bottom though. But that's still minor. When you look at it, he's still got a lot of the, the green up on top. I think that would be a little bit better for some jungle warfare to be able to blend in. So, yeah. And like I said, um, I got these guys out. We'll probably hit a little bit more of a G.I. Joe or something else here for Figure Fridays until May comes around. And then most definitely come May we're going to be doing uh, Star Wars figures. So we'll go from there. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful time. Thanks for sitting around the pool table. We'll see you in the next video.